we are starting this episode off by unlocking one of the fifth relics. We got 7,500 points and the relic we are choosing is Equilibrium. Each time you gain XP, you gain additional XP equal to 10% of your total level. This will help me out whenever I need to skill in the background. Equilibrium have been unlocked. Even though we just unlocked a relic for skilling, we're not gonna be skilling in this episode. Today we're gonna do a lot of bosses and try to upgrade our gear as much as possible. And as you can see in the background, we just got ourselves 99 magic. The first upgrade I'm going for is a wilderness shield. And as you can see on the screen, I just got myself an Odium Shard 2. Yes, we got the Malediction Shard 3. Hell yeah. What's the last one we need? We need one more Malediction. <gasps> Oh my god, we got it. We're done. The shield is done. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes. I think that could be the first Maldiction Shard in the game. Here we go. Here is the volcano. Here is the volcano. Drop in the Maldiction Shard into this bad boy. And there we have it. A Maldiction Ward. Beautiful. Our magic bonus is so huge in this game. We have won the game. We have won the game. I'm looking at the Trailblazers first league and apparently someone got the Maldiction War before me. I am fresh. It was today as well, the 30th of October. We have gotten one thing though, the first Caliphate Queen. And I think we were the first to unlock relic number four, but there's no sign for that. Uh, so potentially two, but at least one first thing here. We're going down in history with this one. Me and Mint Mad Cow were pretty much racing each other for the first Malediction Ward in leagues, but by the looks of it, neither of us got it first. If you watched my previous leagues video, you would have seen that I failed miserably while attempting to go for the fire cape. And today is the day we get revenge on Jad. Alright, it's time to finally high alk all these items for a second attempt at the fire cape. Oh, 1.9 mil. Let's go back to the fire cape. All right, attempt number two at the fire cape. I got a lot more prey potions this time, so it should be fine. And this is going to be attempt number two at Jad. I forgot to assign myself a slayer task. That's our. Oh well, that's the jet completed. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Look at this fire cape. Beautiful. 250 points. Let's go straight into the arena. Fire cape is cool and all, but I really wanted to get inside a closed section of the cave so I could obtain full obsidian armor for my strength training. And while going for obsidian armor, I got another obi cape. Another obi mall, another obi cape, another obi shield, another obi cape, another obi cape, another obi mall, another obi cape. All right, I'll start selling the items to the store here. 21k, 17k, 15k. Yep, we have 133k tacos. We're gonna need at least one obsidian armor drop to be able to afford the other pieces here. Or we just get a lot more obi capes and we're good. What's that? What's that? That's another obi mall. I mean, I can't complain, it's Tuckles, 17k Tuckles. <sighs> Wait, that's an Obi Cave from the Major. God, that's another 21k. That's an Obi Sword. And this should be... That is 100 combat for 100 points. It wasn't really intentional, but I just accidentally got rank 1 hit points on leagues. Another Obi Mall. I think that's gotta be enough for full obsidian by the helm and I think this is gonna be a lot of points full obsidian have been unlocked equip a full set of obsidian armor 100 points no messing around we need to unlock the next thing oh my god there it is the abyssal whip we have a pogging melee gear right now. 250 points for the whip. We are looking so fantastic. I'm ready. I'm ready, boys. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. 
Every time I get a big gear upgrade, I want to test it out in leagues. So now that we have our best melee gear in combination with our double speed magic, it's time to kill some people in the wilderness. And this was all done on my Twitch livestream. And get me out is now dead. Oh, look at the loot. We can see the loot here. Full Mystic, Mystic Boots, Bracelet of Ethereum. Wait, who's that? Was that the guy I killed? No. Wait, now I killed that guy. Oh my god, he had some serious gear. So the thing about PKing in leagues is that you won't get anything if you kill someone. And the people who die won't lose anything besides their untradeable items. But as I said before, I'm just peeking to test out these new uh, relics, the new mechanics and all my new gear. Back to leagues. Let's find some people. Oh! Do we go in for the DDS here? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this gear. I just wrecked him. I dominated him. 556, five, the Scorpio guy. Oh my god, look at this. What? An actual fight? Dude, I have to dip. I have to dip! Two versus one! No, no, no. This might be my first death here. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, I'm smited. Drop the fire cape! Ah! Oh my god! They killed me! I died! It's over. No way! That's my first death. I, I kinda asked for it, though. And since it's leagues, it doesn't really matter if I die. The two items I did lose for dying is my fire cape and my magic imbued cape. So I kind of have to go back and get myself another fire cape now. Now that I have tested out my new gear, I'm ready to move on and unlock the sixth and final relic and the third and final region. And something interesting about the sixth and final relic, it is the most overpowered relic when it comes to PKing. These are the three tier six relics we can pick, but we're gonna focus on my relic, Weapon Specialist. And we're gonna go straight to the one benefit I want to use in PvP, and that's special attack that costs 20% or more energy will cost only 20% using this relic. Meaning I can use five Gmol specs at once. Is that overpowered? We'll have to find out. To unlock this relic as quickly as possible, we will have to complete task and get points. And we start off here at the magic training arena. 30 minutes on the timer, and that's uh, the enchantment room done. Why did I commit to getting an infinity piece? Why did I commit to this? I regret it already. This place is so awful. I just want to leave. And that's the graveyard room completed. And that should be the last points. There we go. No, thank you. I'm never, ever coming back. I originally planned to get the infinity hat, but dude, that would have taken so much time. Infinity boots have been unlocked. Is that 100 points? That is 100 points. We're never coming back. Oh my god, someone is in the desert. I get so surprised every time I see someone here. Another 50 points. Uh, we started doing hunter now because I think that's going to be useful for the future. At this point, I think I've spent more time trying to get a water talisman than I did getting the infinity boots. At this point, I just started rushing tasks. I didn't want to bother you guys with 83 clips of me saying another 50 points. Uh, so in the background, you can see all the tasks I decided to do. And if you want to see exactly what task it was, you can pause the video in between every frame. But yeah, at this point, when I've stopped speaking, I think we should be able to unlock the final fifth area. Mauritania. Um, it seems like we have a few more tasks left, so while we're waiting, give the video a like. And this, our friends, is the last task completed. We can now unlock a new area. And the area we are picking is the beautiful swampland Mauritania.
1430 points more, and then it's time. That kill, we can finally unlock the final relic. Here we go, we are picking the relic Weapon Specialist. Here we go, we are picking Weapon Specialist. Special attacks that would normally have an energy cost of greater than 20% now only cost 20% instead. Select, confirm, relic has been unlocked. It is, it is here, the granite mall baby, the granite mall, yes, yes, oh my god, we got it, we got it, the beautiful granite mall, in the next episode we are going to abuse this everywhere, and just to give you all a little teaser of what this does in pvp and pvm, I'm going to show you. <laughs> you don't want to miss what's to come so make sure to subscribe right now and potentially even on twitch because i will be going live there as well and i'll see you guys very very soon for five spec gmail content